and welcome back to DIYHoneymooners.com. My name is Dan Callahan. Just a refresher for those who don't know, I've been a contractor for over 20 plus years in the home improvement industry, specializing in bath kitchen remodels. Um, today, we're just gonna go over the basic household tools that you might wanna have around the house if you decide to do any work for yourself. So, let's jump right in and get started. This first tool right here is an oscillating tool, sometimes referred to as a multi-tool, or you might have heard of a Dremel, which is a brand of the oscillating tool. I find this is a great tool when doing small, simple cuts. Let's say I'm cutting some baseboards, some household trim, or even some straight lines into drywall so I can patch it. I find that this tool is the best for that. Now this next one right here is a circular saw. This is a four and a half inch blade made by DeWalt. This tool was actually shown to me by one of our installers at the company and at first didn't know what to make of it and then we started using it. Absolutely love this tool. I think most homeowners could really enjoy this a lot better than a full size circular saw. Very easy to use, one handed, two handed, works perfectly. Next, you have an impact drill. Now the difference between an impact drill and a regular standard drill, this is going to have some force behind it. So if you're trying to drive something into a wall, let's say a screw, a lag bolt, something with real force, this is gonna be the tool that you want. If you want a nice neat hole that's gonna go steady, this regular drill, standard drill, is gonna be the one that you're gonna use for that. This might be a little more heavy duty than your average homeowner may need. However, I find it's good to have in the home. This right here is a reciprocating saw. You might have heard it called a sawzall. If I'm gonna demo something or have to cut something pretty big, I'm gonna put the long blade on the end and I'm gonna to go to town with this. Works well. And obviously you can see the rest here. I have my drill bits that I need, my driving bits, obviously the blades for each of the tools I just mentioned. You can't go wrong with having utility knife at home. You always need one of these. You just never know when it's gonna come in handy. Obviously your hammer as well. I like to keep some deck screws on hand should I need them, along with drywall screws as well. As far as these headlock screws here, these are going to be for anything that really have to support weight, anything structural. For example, today I'm going to hang a pull-up bar in the garage. Well, these are going to be what go into the studs in the wall because I know that's going to hold the amount of weight that's going to go on it. Now, obviously with these tools, they're just a basic starter set. You can get so much more in your household that may come in handy for you, or it may not. It's really your choice since it's your home. As far as these go, any other tips and tricks you might want to see to work around your house, feel free to scroll through the pages at DIYHoneymooners.com.